Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Magnetic Excursion Update Sunday, December 21st, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A major coronal hole transequatorial is facing Earth, and the plasma stream has arrived. G1 geomagnetic storm is occurring. We also have major flooding and, well, thousands gathering for the solstice. Buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's the shortest day of the year. Happy winter solstice. The winter solstice marks the longest night of the year. It's from darkness that inspiration, strength, and life emerge. It's a turning point, signifying the rebirth of light and the return of the sun. It's going to take three days before the sun moves higher in the sky. May you find peace in the promise of the solstice. And, well, Merry Christmas. Thousands gather for winter solstice celebrations at Stonehenge. The crowds, many dressed as druids and pagans, gathered before the dawn, waiting patiently in the dark and cold, in the southwest of England, some sang and beat drums, while others took time to reflect among the huge stone pillars. Absolutely spectacular. Heavy rain reportedly traps motorists on flooded streets in Redding, California. Let's take a look. There's some water there on the roadway now, isn't there? This is the dumbest thing you could ever do, in my opinion, especially as the holiday season approaches. The last thing you want to do is kill yourself. Heavy rain, floods, redding roads, stranded vehicles prompt countywide safety warnings. Yeah, don't drive into standing water unless you know what you're doing. Winter weather warnings as 40 inches of snow to hit. Travel impossible. Holy mackerel, let's take a look at this. Man, National Weather Service issues winter weather warnings. Here is Door County, Wisconsin. Can't even make this up. It's gonna be a white Christmas for many people. Winter weather warnings have been issued to a number of states as high winds and up to 40 inches of snow are forecast to hit overnight on Saturday through Sunday, fun day, and even into next week in some cases according to the National Weather S Service forecast. Well, we do have the actual map here, Tornado HQ Live, showing us that a string of storms is moving through South Dakota and into Iowa and hitting the upper plains. We've got lake effect snow as well. And now is the full forecast. Just a couple days before Santa Claus comes down the chimney and we have heavy rain and flash flooding concerns in California. Heavy snow in the Sierras, good news there. An atmospheric river will bring heavy rainfall to lower elevations of California this week. Heavy snow to the Sierra Nevada mountains Flash flooding, some of which may be locally considerable, will be a concern for the western foothills of the Sierra Nevada Mountains through Tuesday, Lose Day. Landslides, rock falls, and mudslides are possible in Southern California and just not a good recipe for Christmas. Earthquake swarm continues to rattle Northern California City, seismologists say, and well, it's getting jiggy up there, yeah. Yesterday was a big day, but today is a little less in forms of rumbling. But before we go further, let's take a look at the snowfall totals as we head towards Christmas. This is, uh, yeah, this is the season of pleasing. Here we are, 3, 6, 9, 12 hours from now, and we're moving through Tuesday. The 24th, this is Christmas Eve, and this is Christmas Day. So if you're in these regions, you are guaranteed a white Christmas all of the Northeast, all the way down to D.C., 
uh, high elevations in the Sierras and the Olympics in the Pacific Northwest and much of the high elevations of the Rocky Mountains. If we move the model through towards the new year, right there, like swimwear, major snow, and well, it's going to be an epic winter indeed. Happy holidays. Muddy eruption at the Yellowstone Black Diamond Pool. Let's take a look. Clearly, we have some significant hydrothermal activity at Yellowstone. Nothing significant, no eruption imminent. Worldwide Volcano News, Parache today, volcanic ash emissions likely. Fuego to 15,000 feet. We've got Ibu to 7,000, San Gue to 20,000. Raventador, 16,000 foot blast there. Santa Guito to 14,000. Semadu, who knew, now you do, 15,000 foot blast. Likely volcanic ash at Purache, Fuego to 15,000. Ibu to 7,000. We've got large volcanic ash emissions at Popo to 23,000 feet. Happy holidays. Semadu, 15,000 foot blast there. Ongoing volcanic ash at San Gay. And wrapping up the list, Santa Guito, ongoing. Purache, ongoing. Santa Guito, ongoing. Can Leon. An eruption reported today. Fuego to 15,000, and that's a boom. Space weather. We've got a coronal hole facing Earth, and we've now kicked it up into uh, geomagnetic instability. Actually, G1 geomagnetic storm six hours ago. This is going to continue for quite a while as coronal hole number nine faces Earth. And, well, good news there. A uh, co-rotating interactional region, CIR, and coronal hole stream arrived a little earlier than expected. The solar wind speed increased to six to 700 kilometers per second. Active KP4 geomagnetic conditions have been observed, and a minor G1 geomagnetic storm watch is now in effect. Holy macaroni. We've got some regions turning around the limb that are looking like flare potentials. See all that light there? Holy macaroni. So we've got coronal holes and now flaring potential. Good news. Everything's getting spicy. James Webb telescope discovers a planet shaped like a lemon. When the James Webb gives you lemons, you get one of the strangest planets ever seen. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered an astonishing exoplanet that's stretching our understanding of what's possible for distant worlds. And when we say stretch, we mean literally. The roughly Jupiter mass object designated PSRJ2322- 2650b orbits just 1 million miles away from our star or 1% of Earth's distance from the sun with a single year lasting 7.8 Earth hours and at su such a proximity the extreme gravity of the star an exoplanet type known as a pulsar pulls the entire planet into an oblong shape, shape like a lemon I don't believe a single word these retards say, but it's Christmas anyway. And that means silver is reaching all-time highs. It hit $67 today, and it's going up, up, and away. Why are you waiting? Please transfer your IRAs into precious metals now, and don't miss out. You could literally... Gain 30% in just the next year. Gold Co. 
the industry leader from precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver. Go get it. I mean, request your free 2026 gold and silver kit now. No obligation, no penalties, all gains. And it's huge. Take a look at the up, up, and away, folks. This could be your retirement. Have you missed out? It's not too late. Get in. Silver is going to 200 bucks by the end of next year. Mark my words. And that is a boom to knowledge. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And be safe. We love you. The most important thing you can do for us is hit the subscribe button and become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love each and every one of you. And that's a boom. Mm-hmm.